today I thought I would do a makeup tutorial for the upcoming holiday season and I wanted to do a look basically one festive but very simple eye look that you can combine with lots of different lip combos and that will suit pretty much any lip combo and will take you from day to night. I'm gonna be using some of the upcoming holiday collections by The Body Shop and they have come out with some fantastic new lip products that I'm absolutely loving. So they have come out with seven new shades in a completely matte lipstick formulation and they've also released new shades for the matte lip liquids. Now these are limited edition, they are available for a while. I will show you my favorites from each of those ranges and also the whole tutorial. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to apply these new um, eye color sticks or actually just one <laughs> rather eye color stick and this is in the shade Nevada Gold and this is basically a cream eyeshadow in a stick form. So very simple to apply. This works great as a base and it just it makes it apply everything more vibrantly. So these things are just so easy. Now I'm going to use this new quad. Now this is also one of the down to earth eye palettes, but this one is especially for Christmas and this is go for gold quad, this gold one first of all, and then just packing it right over that shadow stick that I applied. And this is really just going to help that color really pop. I'm going to use the second color in this quad and I'm using this shade right here. This is like a taupey brown. There isn't really a lot of fallout with these shadows but this is just to be on the safe side. And I'm going to layer that right into the crease and use that to blend out the gold shade. This is just a great crease color. It's like a really great transition color. And then I'm gonna pick up some of this shade and this is a dark brown. And this one is completely matte. And I'm just working that into the outer crease, like really just into that little outer third. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And this is a great highlighting shade. It's not completely white. It's more like a cream tone, almost like a vanilla shade. And I'm going to use this to kind of blend out the edges of these darker shades right here in the inner corner where it can sometimes look a little bit unblended. And then also use this as a highlighter just underneath my brows. So underneath on the lower lash line, I also want a little bit of color. So I'm going in with this taupey brown shade again and kind of blend that all the way in. And it's really just to give sort of a little bit of definition. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of this dark brown as well and just place that on the again on the outer third. Next, I'm going to use some of the Smoky 2-in-1 Gel Eyeliner. Now, this is the black color. And then I'm going to use the Gel Pen Eyeliner. This is in the brown color, and I'm just going to apply that on my lower waterline. So you just kind of pull down gently on that skin. Don't pull too hard just to get into that area a little bit more easily without stabbing your eyeballs or anything like that. And for my mascara today, I'm using the Big and Curvy Waterproof. So on my cheeks, I'm going to use the all-in-one cheek color, and this is in the shade 01. And this is actually a kind of a peachy shade that I think just goes well all year round. And I actually love wearing shades like this one is in um, the winter when I have more pale skin because I feel like it just gives such a healthy flush. Just looks so natural, like that natural rosiness as if you were just out in the cold, went for an autumn walk or something like that. And then I'm also gonna use the Shimmer Waves and this is in the shade 02 and this is more of a highlighter, I guess. And I'm just going to use that as a highlighter and just kind of apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. Now the focus of this look is really supposed to be on mixing it up with different lip shades because I feel like this neutral look can really be combined with lots of different things. And I have absolutely been loving these new matte lipsticks by The Body Shop because I feel like their other existing existing ranges are very sort of more glossy and shiny in texture and these ones are truly matte and they are just a gorgeous finish. This one I think is sort of the one that is most everyday neutral wearable. It's 430 Sienna Rose. Like look at that. I think this is shade is just be great also with this look. I'm just gonna put this on so you can see. And they go on so creamy. Not creamy where it's like sliding around on your lips. So just um, 
like they feel moisturizing and they're not drying. I love the shade so much and you can see I could just apply that straight from the bullet. I don't even need a lip liner here because it's not um, slippery that it's going to move around. I mean you could combine them with a lip liner but I don't feel like it's necessary with this formula and it feels very hydrating. It doesn't have that dry streaky finish. You know some matte lipsticks you put them on and it's almost like tugging at your lips as you apply it and it just feels very like your lips feel raw at the end of the day because they're so dry and I don't have that with this formula. So this one as you can see is just super festive. I love this color. Um, this one leans more into the warm uh, red family like usually I wear more cool tone red lipsticks with like a blue undertone this one definitely has a warm almost orangey undertone it's not an orange red but it's more warm a warm red but I think this still really suits me and I think this would be just great around Christmas time again super comfortable to wear so another new release is the matte lip liquid lipsticks so these are basically like liquid lipsticks, but they're a little bit different because they don't completely dry down to that super matte, super drying texture. They're more of a moussey texture. So they're a little bit more comfortable to wear on your lips, but they still have a matte finish. If you want a liquid lipstick that's a little bit more moisturizing, these are a great alternative. And this is the shade Paris Peony. And I think this is such a fun, bright pink. So again, super easy to apply. It has a doe foot applicator. I feel like these ones are a little bit less matte than the lipsticks. So if you want one that's super, super, super matte, go for the lipsticks. So lastly, I'm going to show you one of my favorite actually combinations with both the ranges. And I'm going to be using this lipstick and it's called Osaka Plum. Again, perfect for fall. I mean, it's so creamy and nice to apply. So that is the Osaka Plum on its own, which I think is a gorgeous um, color in its own right. I love this one. And then I'm going to top it with Sicily Iris. And this is from the Lip Liquid Collection. And this is also a really deep color. And you can layer these and use them in combination. And I think this is a really great combo. So, so this is obviously the most intense color of all of them. And I just love this combination. It's obviously the most rich and dark. And I love it combined with um, dark nails like this. This is also um, a nail polish that's coming out for the holiday season. Plum Addict. So... This just goes so well with the lips. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to see more. And you can see how looks like this are so versatile. You can combine them with almost any lip combo and it'll always work. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care everyone.